Welcome to Full Body Dumbbell Destruction. This is a bodybuilding full body workout that emphasizes dumbbell exercises. It's suitable for most experience levels while being simple and fast to follow. Volume is the name of the game and shorter rest intervals are used, so try it out. Plus, you can speed up the workout with push pull supersets. So, we're starting with the dumbbell bench press using a classic 5x5 setup. To increase the difficulty and get more or less weight, we're pausing. Doesn't need to be long, just make sure you're not bouncing the weights off your body. This will aid in pec development while enhancing bottom strength. Now, 5x5 is typically used for barbells and heavier loads, but that's just a cultural thing. You can still use it with dumbbells and lower percentages, plus it's feasible given the low rest intervals. You can see volume work is quick, guys, in and out. Now, if you're a beginner, I would skip this part. Otherwise, if you want a little bit more volume, do two more sets. This because the 5x5 five five is 25 total repetitions. And I feel that if you do touch and go, just a little back off, you get some extra gains. I just think it's beneficial for an advanced lifter trying to maximize progress. Like combine touch and go and pause, and don't just do reps of five. By the way, look at the form. Notice how I'm tucking at the bottom. And you can clearly see that as the dumbbells get heavier, they become bulkier. So this whole idea that you increase range of motion is not really true. That's only correct if you bring your arms way out to the side, which increases the risk of straining your shoulder. So I don't recommend that. So like I said, this is optional, but it's still helpful. Okay, so now we're doing the seated dumbbell shoulder press, which has great carryover to OHP and regular bench. Do a standard 3x10, but ramp up the weights 5-10 pounds each set. And please use a full range of motion, which won't hurt you if the elbows are tucked at the bottom. Also pay attention to the back angle, don't lean too far back, otherwise it could become a high incline. Not saying my form is perfect either, but it's a good pro tip. An alternative solution is to remove the back pad, but you'll be less stable, except the scapula. So at this point you may feel a bit weaker, but that's because of the previous fatigue, so don't stress about the numbers. You can always go heavier on intensity days, or start with the vertical press as next workout. And realistically, you might be able to do 15-20 pounds more. Alternatively, you could also do one heavy set, followed by two back off. So you can really play with the variables. Like, the beauty of concurrent periodization is that it is so flexible and 100% custom. And you're not stuck by these rigid rules. So yeah, those are the presses. It was super simple. Now we're doing three sets of 10 dumbbell row and vertical pull supersets. So I know it's a dumbbell destruction, but you know, I got to get my vertical pulls in and I, of course, recommend it. So with this technique, the good news is that you won't have to go weighted. So we're really staying true to volume work. Now, every time I do a superset, I change a variation. So I'm starting with the muscle up just because it's the hardest one to do. And you're not totally drained from the first set of dumbbell rows. So you do that. Don't go to complete failure. Otherwise, you're going to be done for your next sets. Uh, this is a brutal movement. So I only get eight repetitions here, but that's all good. And uh, basically what you're doing is you go left arm, right arm with the dumbbell rows. Then you do your vertical pull. You rest 30, 60 seconds, and then you repeat, okay? So again, we're getting more or less weight, and you don't have to stress so much. And like I said, we're changing the variation every time. So that's all there is to it. Extremely freaking simple. At the end, I do a bonus set with the 130s. I just want to know what it felt like. I'm doing a mini cheat row style. You know, I gotta throw it in, right? For the good old days. And then, yeah, controlled with the squeezes. No way to pull ups in this workout. So, this is also great for saving time. But, you know, it's just another way of training. Like, usually I'll do a standard three sets of six to ten, or one peak set followed by two back off. That's very classic. But this is just another option. So, in this video, I'm trying to show you that there's different ways to skin a cat, different ways to do volume work. And,. The body weight pull up, specifically with a slower tempo, we're just going from one hard variation to an easy one, makes it so that you don't have to go stupid crazy with the weights. So you do what you want, but I'm telling you, this is hard, even for someone like me. So now we're training them arms. I don't believe in minimalist programming where it's just, oh, do the compound movements. I think that's terrible advice. But I think you've heard me ramble enough in my other videos. So I chose a standard dumbbell extension and dumbbell hammer curl. So I'm only using 40 pounds here. I wanted the 45s, but they were nowhere to be found on this side of the gym. At that point, I was already invested. So I do some sets of that. And then I actually do a bonus set with the fat grips. And I got to say that it was actually extremely difficult. Um, like, it's actually pathetic how my performance is on this exercise. So to me, it demonstrates a definite weakness. And I not only have to bring up my biceps, but also my brachialis. Like, I just feel like my arms in general are lagging. And that's the torso dominant lifestyle, man. Weighted chins are not enough. And if you're someone who has lagging arms, you definitely want to treat them more seriously. Jumping out of my wrist, actually, it's like moving. <laughs> I fucking suck at this. At next workout, I'll definitely go heavier on the curls, but I'll use a different variation. All right, so now we're finishing this workout with lower body. I want you to warm up with reverse hyper or standard hyper extension to really pump up the glutes, hamstrings, and lower back. This will prepare you for the amazing superset that will really blow up those legs. The reverse dumbbell lunge and dumbbell RDL. Wow. 
is this a game changer? Bro, you're gonna be out of breath completely, and the pump is gonna be unreal in the entire posterior chain, mark my words. That's what I definitely recommend strapping up, especially at this part of the workout since we did arms right before. It's not really a smart idea, to be honest, but hey, this is the leg part. We're not really trying to hit our grip at this point, so who cares? So the objective is to get so strong that you're maxing out the dumbbell stack. Now, I don't know how heavy your dumbbells go, but anywhere between 100 and 150 pounds each hand, is absolutely incredible. And what you're doing here is a three by 20, okay, for the lunges, so 10 each leg, then the RDL, 15 to 20. So you do your lunges, left leg, right leg, and no rest, or a mini break of 30 seconds, not too long, you do your RDLs. So we're basically pre-exhausted from the reverse hypers, which minimizes injury risk in my opinion. And then we're getting more out of less weight, and we're using two variations that are good as fuck. I really started messing with this superset after the interview that I did with Steve Shaw. I can't recommend this enough. Really what I'm trying to show you in these workouts is that there is another way. And you have a choice to do what you want. So I really want you to give this superset a shot. I'm telling you, it's absolutely phenomenal. You're going to love it and you're going to make gains. And with that said, I finish off with the reverse hyperextension once more. Because it's honestly my favorite accessory of all time. Although I'll say this, if you can do a glute ham raise this part of the workout, offer that instead. Or you can start with the glute ham and then finish with reverse hyper. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this full body workout. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want more like these. And I'll see you in the next training video.